Good morning, folks. We're doing this live style this morning so you can get a bit more insight into what goes into the morning news. We're starting at spaceweathernews.com, and as always, if you haven't clicked what is space weather, you can become an expert in about one hour. Let's start now. Last 48 hours of our star in 193 angstroms and 131. Really doesn't matter which wavelengths I've got up there right now because the Earth facing disk is relatively calm. We do have the southern coronal hole there, which you can see coming in. Uh, mostly just here on 193. So let's come down a little bit now, find solar flaring absolutely flatlined with the big sunspots uh, still on the far side of the sun. Come and we're going to look at solar wind next. We have ACE and Discover. These ACE breaks are because one of the ground stations is now dedicated to following Discover. Uh, and as we follow Discover here, it does appear that solar wind speed, the purple, is on its way down really not much happening with the plasma density, uh, but as the speed is on its way down and we exit the coronal hole stream, we are finally uh, seeing the geomagnetic conditions wane as well. Looking at stereo A and the big sunspot we're waiting to return, that's left side on the south. For a bit of perspective, as we take a look from Earth's orbit, we see one bright group arch over the limb and then another one coming just this morning. Those are the far right and just right of center bright spots on stereo A. Expect visual contact with the big guy Thursday or Friday. Interesting set of links for you below. First one details the x-ray signatures of a binary explosion. White dwarf and red giant. Wonder if Sandia's Z machine debunking of resonant auger destruction applies to this story too. The global climate report for August is out, and you know the drill. The one with the blue is the real data, and I have also put the one up here that has been white and red washed and sent to the media. The one where blue coal disappears is the only one you will see on the internet this week. Quickly peeking in on the hurricane models, apart from the Northeast Caribbean taking a pounding now, these storms are forecast to just tease the U.S. coastline. It is indeed our forecast that if we get increased space weather activity when the sunspot returns, that it favors more westward tracks into the U.S. coastline. We watch the European model first. This one is the GFS. All right, folks, we are over next at earth.nullschool.net. What we're going to do is we're going to see how to use this wonderful tool down here. It's all about the Earth button down in the bottom left. It is how you can change the projection, which is basically the view, how you're looking at uh, the map here. Uh, I do like P because it basically puts the entire world on a nice little rectangle. Uh, the overlays, you've got wind, temperature, relative humidity, sea level pressure. I would go through and check these out. Uh, but these overlays really just apply to the air model here. Let's say you click ocean and you see that everything below there has changed really. Uh, you can look at the currents, waves, sea surface temperature. Uh, the chem up there, that is where we have the carbon monoxide and the plant food overlays, which I like to do so much. Particulates, this is where we get the dust and the uh, less than 1, 2.5, and 10 micron particulate matter. Uh, the air models are pretty good. Uh, this is where you go up through the atmosphere surface and then the different HPA levels. If you don't know, uh, the lower the HPA, the higher up in the atmosphere we are. Uh, 10 is all the way up in the stratosphere where, of course, you can see that the southern polar vortex is breaking as we are approaching the equinox and some of the flows up at this uh, up at this altitude are starting to start in the north, which is one of the things that we were pointing out in our polar vortex special just yesterday. We are waiting for the earthly effects of that southern coronal hole, and we're waiting for visual contact with the big sunspot for round two of his facing Earth. We will do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.